Thursday. Gotta be, shh, gotta be kind of quiet. We're in the hallway, but it's Thursday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Eric and I are up early this morning because we want to do just a really quick, um, I won't even say workout, but just a really quick walk before we um, get started at the parks this morning. Today we are heading over to Epcot. I am having for breakfast this morning apple cider vinegar and a little bit of water mixed in. So this is my breakfast today. Eric and I have decided to share our meals for the some, most part. Some meals. <laughs> Some meals we will be sharing, and uh, we're going to try to do what did we say? One meal a day. So we either share a meal, we either split a meal, or if it's a big meal, that'll be our big meal for today. Like our other meal will be like a snack. Okay. For two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, to save just a little bit of money. You get so much food in restaurants these days. Mm -hmm. you know? So with all that food, you tend to overeat a little bit. So we're trying to be diet conscious. We try to be as diet conscious as we can. Hence the apple cider vinegar and water on this vacation. morning yeah, it is tough <laughs> especially somewhere like well i guess anywhere you go on vacation you go for the food so. do do you guys when you're on vacation in the mornings for breakfast do you guys get up and eat like a full breakfast we try not to do that. i i couldn't do it I, every now and then we'll take like a special day and we'll uh -huh. go to like um What's the name of Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel, yeah. Uh, but in general, we try not to do heavy breakfasts. Is that yeah. for breakfasts? Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> not breakfast. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> it's early, y'all. Okay. As you guys know, we are here for Christmas vacation. I'm sure some of you are probably thinking that that is a bit weird. When you think of Christmas, you typically think about, you know, being at home with family, getting up on Christmas morning and opening up your presents but we will not be doing that we'll be doing that here um, in Orlando in our hotel and honestly guys we love doing it we have actually been doing Christmas vacations this way oh my gosh for a few years um and we've done the traditional thing and that's kind of that's really why we started doing it right we've yeah. been doing so many traditional Christmases it just got kind of repetitive Right, so we said, you know what, let's do something a little bit different. So yeah, not everybody does it, but it works for us. And also too, as Chase started to get a little bit older, it just became more and more difficult to buy him things. Yeah. You know, when you have an only child, you shouldn't do it, but you know, you tend to spoil them. So they already have everything and then he just he's <laughs> i don't know he's he's different he doesn't want a lot his teenagers yeah. i think in general are kind of hard to to shop for yeah teenage boys. The, like, what, what are they they're the millennials now yeah what does a teenage boy want yeah. as long as he has his phone he's good he's happy so like he he even asks us not to buy him things because he doesn't want to appear spoiled yes he's a good kid but i'm glad you bring that up <laughs> the friends and the family because one of yeah. the things people ask us uh -huh. especially when you look at our instagram yeah you don't see chase on a lot of the pictures he is here guys we've actually <laughs> never left chase on a vacation so let us know in the comments yeah. are you taking vacations without your your children i can't do it we've never done it i chase and i are connected at the hip yeah i, I can't leave him but also eric you need to tell them this trip is going to be a little bit different why yeah we got a bunch of family members we so. got family members hanging out with us chase is here <laughs> we've got family members here so mm -hmm. they are here even if they're not in the chase doesn't like to be he definitely doesn't like to be in the videos. Oh no. He'll, he'll occasionally <laughs> jump in an Instagram. Right. But he is here. We've got a bunch of family members. We're yeah. going to do some family activities. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Alright guys. So quick outfit of the day before we head out this morning to Epcot. Alright so we'll start down here at the feet. I am just wearing a pair of white Reebok. Okay. I have on a pair of, um, I won't even, I won't call these compression pants, but just a little thin pair of workout pants. It's going to be pretty warm today, like I said. I love the distressing on these, and I purchased these a few months ago, guys, believe it or not, on walmart.com for about seven bucks, okay? So, cannot beat that. 
This t-shirt is a shirt that I made using some iron-on fabric transfers, guys. I showed you the uh, sweatshirts that I made. And for the trip, because it's going to be so warm, I decided to go ahead and do some t-shirts. And I love this one. I love this little lady here with her natural hair and her earrings of the continent of Africa. I have on my magic bands, as you can see here. Um, I have on my little Tinkerbell necklace. I purchased this on our last trip to Disney. I love that. Not sure if you guys can see that, all right. And I just have on these really cute, I love these fashionable uh, clear lens glasses. And for my bag today, I'll be carrying my Gucci backpack. All right, so that is it. Let me go. Eric and Chase are waiting. I will see you guys in the park. Bye guys. So guys, we're headed to eat somewhere we've never eaten before, which is rare because we've eaten just about everywhere in Epcot, but we're eating over in Canada. Yep. La Cellier, how do you pronounce it? I La think it's La Cellulay. You La Cellulay. Excuse our French. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am, I'm gonna do my outfit of the day. I have on my Boba Fett t-shirt uh -huh. in honor of the latest Star Wars movie, which we'll be watching. And I like your pants. I'm going to see at some point during the trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we will see you guys once we get inside the restaurant. We'll kind of show you guys what we're eating. Okay. Chase, where do you want to sit? Right here? Okay. Chase, you can probably do the, um, you like the filet mignon. I don't even see that. It's on the entrees. So we just finished up a really tasty lunch over at La Cellulae. Eric, what, what are your thoughts on the restaurant? I thought it was good, it was tasty. Now, I will warn you, it is a long way. It took an hour. Yeah. So if you have a fast pass, you need to plan accordingly. You want to leave yourself at least an hour. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think about the food though? It was what, good. What I would order? I had the seafood, it was like a stew. Uh-huh. Um, it had lobster and shrimp. It was good, I would give it, I, overall I would give my experience a B. Okay, I'll go see plus. It is a little <laughs> pricey too, so you know, keep that in mind. Bring your wallet, but um, it was yeah. good. All right. <laughs> We just finished up with, what did we just get off of? Living, Living with the land. land. You probably cannot see me, but we just finished up with soaring and living with the land. And right now we are uh, underwater. We are heading into seas with Nemo and friends and guys. Despite the fact that this is Christmas, like really, really peak season here um, in Orlando, we're just really surprised at how much of a walk on this is. The wait was like 10 minutes. And as you can see, we are in the queue, just kind of like zooming through. If you are thinking about coming to Orlando for Christmas, having any reservations regarding coming to Orlando for Christmas, I would say absolutely go ahead and do it. Another piece of advice, and I'm gonna plug our channel. <laughs> Watch our Disney on the Dime channel because the thing is, I get it, it's the parks, 
it's crowded during the holidays but on our disney on the dime channel we mm -hmm. talk about a lot of things to do outside of the park like yeah. for instance on this trip did you tell them about the escape room no i forgot we're gonna do <laughs> an escape room we're gonna do a lot of um, shopping a mm -hmm. lot of dining so yeah we're not even necessarily gonna be in the parks all that much we're gonna yep. rent bicycles so we're gonna Ooh, do a lot that's gonna be a fun day